Hello everyone, it's Bernard here and Peter from the Almost Painted channel. And today we are finally bringing the Space Marines to the Combat Patrol World Cup. In today's game, Space Marines will have to face against Adeptus Mechanicus. So uh, it's gonna be an exciting game. Uh, the mission that we will be playing today is called uh, Scorched Earth. And this is a fun little mission uh, in which we can raise the objectives. Yes, so there are four objectives and two of them can be raised. But you can't raise the ne objective nearest uh, your deployment and you can only raise objectives if there are more than two left. So basically you can only erase two objectives and then your opponent can't do the same because the limit, ha limit has been reached. For each raised objective, which is removed, you get 10 victory points and then obviously you can't score again from it. Uh, so this is a game in which we will have to figure out whether or not it's worth to uh, discard one objective or maybe simply control more because still you get five points for controlling any objectives and ten if you control more than your opponent and as usually uh, the second player will be scoring at the end of the fifth battle round so yeah pretty standard mission with the raising twist uh, yeah and we also have secondaries <laughs> Yes. The Space Marine one is quite powerful, it's the optional one and it's called Shock Tactics. Basically, uh, if an opponent controls an objective marker at the start of any turn, so both players turn, and I will control it at the end of the same turn, I will get 5 victory points. And considering uh, Admech secondaries are quite weak, I'm pretty sure Peter will have to control the objectives to gain any points, so that will provide some opportunity for me to just, you know, shock him yes, out so. of them. Uh, your secondary objective is really interesting because uh, from mathematic point yes, of view in theory in theory you can score 50 victory points yes because it's in each player's turn there is no limit for yes, this and you can start doing it in first turn yes in this game it will be pretty hard because space marines are really slow and peter won't be controlling any objective near me but yeah, it's, it should be quite easy to gain many victory points. It's also the different secondary uh, to the one that the Games Workshop used in their preview, in the battle report for the Combat Patrol. And what secondary are you choosing? Yes, so uh, on the Mechanicum side, the secondaries are pretty weak. Yeah. Uh, and I had to choose the optional one, Holy Apparatus which uh, gives me four victory points for uh, surviving me with my warlord engine seer and also four victory points if my onager dune crawler remains uh, over below half strength mm, and uh, if he goes below he it only provides two victory points. Yes, so basically you can score a maximum of eight victory points. Yes. <laughs> so even if I control two objectives, I mean, if I shock tactic you from two objectives, I'll get more points than you, but yes. there's a reason why Peter is going with this one. Yes, because the default one, um, I can score up to 12 victory points. Yeah. It's really hard to score in this type of mission because uh, at the end of my command phase, I roll a d6. Yes. And I have to score 7 plus, <laughs> but I uh, get uh, one extra point for controlling each objective. So if you control one, you score four victory points, points on a six, 6 plus. Yes. Uh, of course, I can control more objectives, but considering the fact that you can also raise <laughs> two yes. objectives, I think. Uh, it's too hard to to go with it. It's a very bad secondary in my yes. opinion because it's random yes. and to get any better than six up basically you have to control whole parts of the board and the base case, best case scenario for, for the role is if you control the whole board you still do it on a free up yes. which isn't great yeah. at least in this mission because well if there were five <laughs> you would be scoring on two up so you would still have a chance to fail this mission even if you control the whole board. Yeah. So yeah, the holy apparatus is bad, but it's still not as bad as the, the default one. Yes. So maybe let's talk about our enhancements. What's your enhancement for the tech priest? No, it's not tech priest, it's uh, the it's engine, engine seer. seer. Yes, and uh, with this one I went with the default one. So it's omniballistic data fitter. And basically his unit can do one reroll of hit and one mm -hmm. reroll of wound. Uh, when the unit is set to shoot. 
Yes. So considering that there are some special weapons, yes, it can uh, like quite... arc rifle, uh, I think it will be very um, tactical. Yes, it can be quite good. The other one is also weird, <laughs> because it gives uh, the unit his leading precision, which sounds in theory fine on a unit of rangers with you know, almost sniper rifles. But first of all, they have AP0, so they won't do much damage to my yes. characters. And second of all, it's only one once per game. Yes, and also... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's also good. There is one strong weapon, uh, Transuranic Arquebus, but it already has precision. Yes, so basically the only weapon that could benefit from being a sniper rifle already is a sniper rifle, so it's uh, much weaker compared to the other one. I mean, you still benefit for the sniper rifle with the, the default one, so I think it's a, it's a good choice. For me, I went offensively with Champion Duelists. And this is basically uh, precision and lethal hits on my melee weapons. So he has some chance, for example, at uh, killing off your character in a unit or doing an easier damage to your dune crawler, so the things you need to protect. Uh, the other one is also kind of powerful. This is the Old Sworn Termination, uh, Determination. <laughs> And it improves the objective control characteristic of models in the bearer's unit by one. So on Terminators it's quite powerful. However, I went different road than GW in their battle report. And my uh, Terminator captain is <laughs> deep striking solo. <laughs> because I think that, uh, kind of like Typhus, he's quite powerful on his own. He can yes. do a lot of damage. He has charge reroll, uh, precision and little hits now. And... Uh, He's also tougher than the Librarian, because he has one wound more. Meanwhile, the Librarian, who is joining my Terminators, he uh, is buffing them, because he gives them sustained hits, so I think with the volume of fire it will be beneficent uh, for them. And also, uh, you don't really get any points for killing my Warlord, so I kinda don't care. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's the enhancements, that's the mission, that's uh, also my Deep Strike. Peter is not Deep Striking anything. Yes. The armies are set up. Uh, Peter is the defender, I am the attacker, and now we will do the classic row off. So, the, basically, the roll to determine that I'm going first. Let's see. <gasps> oh, oh, so it is Admech turn yes. one. And it's also, fun fact, the first time Peter is starting the game since we start this World Cup, uh, which is already four games in. I mean, this is the fourth game. I so hope it's not the last one. <laughs> yes. After this, uh, this battle, be sure to check the whole playlist because we will be doing all uh, combat patrols against each other. There's a whole group stage, so there will be 32 more games after this one. Then we will do the playoffs when the real, uh, you know, emotions will start. But every combat patrol will have uh, three games to shine in. So tune in for that, uh, subscribe, give this video a like, because many of you are forgetting <laughs> about liking these videos. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you after the AdMac movement. Okay, so in the movement phase, I moved uh, Skitar Rangers onto the objective. Mm, I also moved uh, Destroyers, so that... Uh, the two with plasmas can see your unit mm -hmm. and they are in range yes. to shoot them. Yes, Skitari advanced. Yes, they advanced. Um. And one important thing, I've picked up uh, at the start of the battle round Protector Imperative, so I get a heavy uh, keyword yes. on the weapons and also in my own deployment zone I have minus one AP to my your shoot. But uh, because the destroyers are in fact cult mechanicus, yes, they, they do not don't. benefit from doctrines. Yes. And Skitari are outside of your deployment, which means that and they advance actually. Yes. Which means that they won't benefit. So the only one is your holy apparatus target, <laughs> the Dune Crawler. Uh, also, quick question: Did your destroyers advance? No, they moved okay, uh, so regular only... five inches. And uh, just to. Explain, uh, I decided to move rangers onto the objective because they are battle line, so when they move uh, move from the objective, I can still control it. Yes. So moving quickly into the shooting phase, I can only shoot with uh, two of my plasma destroyers. 
I decide to supercharge. Yes. Because I want this extra strength and damage, mm -hmm. which is very uh, crucial. Think. Yes. So uh, I have uh, two two calverines. So eight shots. Eight shots. Total. Yes. But when you selected me as a target, I will use uh, gene rot resilience. So the new transhuman physiology. Uh, so for one CP, I go down to zero. Uh, my marines uh, get minus one to wound for you basically because strength of your weapon is higher than my toughness so you're wounding me on three ups instead of two ups. two ups so this will be hopefully crucial okay so I'm hitting you on four plus yes okay that's a good roll and now I wound you on a three up yes oh this is a great roll. Yeah. Uh, I have only five up save, but I can lose every single marine because this is exactly five wounds. Yes. Uh, thanks to cover, I reduce your AP by one, uh, which means I will be saving on a five up save. Five up. Yes. I only saved two. This was a five. Which means you just wiped out three. Marines. But now I have to check. Yes. Hazardous test. So two rolls. Snake eyes. Roll this one, but I'm okay. Yeah. So in fact, I think this was my turn because obviously I don't charge and I don't have anything else to do. Yes, that's that was quite uh, brutal. Yes. So Admech shooting can be very powerful. I can't wait for the game between Admech and Tau to see who will outshoot who. Uh, it's coming very soon because they are in the same group. Yes. B. So yeah. Uh, now uh, I need to do some quick thinking and I will see you uh, after the movement. Okay, be I need to do a battle shock test on my uh, unit. I believe it's 6 up. I'm thinking Marines 6 yeah. up. They fail. Uh, you already mm. have one command yes. point. I'm not spending it. They remain battle shocked, which is actually a huge liability for me. Because you lose stratagems and you lose objective control. Yes, but if I move them, I fear I will lose them anyway. Okay. So I will keep this one CP uh, and get back to moving my units. Uh, okay, so uh, in my movement phase, I cowardly uh, run away with my Infernus uh, Marines, so they may be useful later or in the end game. And I move basically my Terminator Brick onto the building to have a range and better view against your Skitari, who are my target for the Oath of Moment. Uh, so now in the shooting phase, I will simply shoot everything into the Skitari because that's where your warlord is hiding and I hope I can actually wipe them out. Okay. Hmm? But one thing before you start shooting. I think I want to use reactive field shot. Uh, so on Skitar unit yes, I will get have four up. plus invulnerable save. And I think that if you want to focus so much, yes. it will I'm be worth uh, using this. Okay. So we are both down to one command point. I'm starting with uh, psychic powers of my librarian. Uh, I'm using smite. I will do with the uh, hazardous version. So it's d6 shots. So four. Uh, too bad it's not a blast weapon because I would have two extra. Yeah. I'm hitting you on the three ups, but I'm rerolling everything to hit, and each six it's extra hit. So, I only scored one so far, but also for moment. Okay, but so I actually it. scored six. Uh, so, it's now strength six, so it's wounding on, three. So it's wounding on two ups. Uh, AP doesn't matter, but six is to wound will be devastating. And it's damage d3. So, I only wound you four times. 
no devastating wounds, so... So I can use my 4 plus invulnerable save? Yes. So, 4 up. Okay. I kill two Skitaris. Okay, so I take this two from the back. Okay, this is a quick interruption. Uh, I'm sorry guys to interrupt you. Uh, this is a sponsor segment actually, and the sponsor is us. Like we are literally uh, begging you for money now. Maybe begging is too much. We are uh, kindly informing you that there is a link in the description below where you can support us uh, directly. It's not uh, a subscription based for now. It's just a one-time payment. If you're feeling uh, nice, uh, five bucks really means a lot for us. So yeah, we don't earn from YouTube yet, so. Thanks. Okay, that was just the psychic uh, power, which would normally be in a psychic phase. Now I'm uh, starting shooting with my regular guns. Librarian has a Storm Bolter. Uh, it's rapid fire too, but it's not in range for rapid fire. So only two shots hitting on three ups. Rerolling everything thanks to Olds of Moment. Not this time. Wounding also on three ups. Okay, it's a wound. Only four up, I guess. Okay, now I will do uh, all the Terminators storm bolters. So, three. So, eight shots. Okay, <laughs> so I scored uh, three extra hits from sustained hits. Uh, and I missed one. Okay, so I actually hit you ten times. Wounding you on free ups. Okay, so that's uh, seven saves. I will use your dice. So four up. That was a bad thing. I mean, they helped me lose uh, three yeah. Infernus Marines, so these are bad okay, dice. Okay, so I lost six. Yes. So already eight guys. So, in order to control this objective, I unfortunately have to remove Arquebus and five other Skitaris. <laughs> so, I think I will remove this one and also... So, yes. there is only the leader, which is holding this objective. <laughs> Also a Skitar with Arc Rifle and also obviously an Engine Seer. And I'm not done shooting because my most powerful weapon yes. is just getting hit up. So, 6 shots, hitting on 3 ups. Or is it... No, it's 3 ups. Controls. Uh, I already scored 2 extra hits thanks to the Librarian. That's why I decided to go with this squad. You have a reroll from... House of Moment. Yes. So... No. But it's still seven, <laughs> 7 hits out of 6 shots. Okay, so now I'm wounding you. What? Because uh, I removed most of your units. Yeah. I will be wounding 2 at a time, because your leader has a higher toughness. Set, uh, toughness yes. So, 2 wounds on 2 ups. Only 1 wound, so... So, 4 up. Okay. <laughs> 1 at a time. Okay, it's a mortal wound, so you can remove it. Okay. And 4 wounds against your leader. So it's three wounds. No AP, so we save it on three ups. Yes. So he only got one wound. Yes. But so two remaining. But even though I got exposed to all your shooting, <laughs> I removed you from the objective before you could actually yes. score it. So even though I don't control any, I think it's a fair game now. Especially since in turn two, my mighty captain will drop down and kill you some. Yeah, so my engine series <laughs> waiting for him yes. on an epic duel. <laughs> okay, so uh, that was the first turn. It was quite, you know, shooty. Yeah. Uh, we will uh, now do turn two for Admech, starting with the movement phase. So see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we are after my movement phase. Yes. Uh, to quickly summarize, uh, before movement there was command phase in which I didn't get any points. Yes. Because you <laughs> wiped me from this objective. 
and also I once again use uh, from Doctrine's uh, Protector Imperative because I want to have heavy on this big guy. Yes. Uh, in, my, in my movement phase uh, I remain stationary hmm. with Dune Crawler. I moved with destroyers so that they, they are within range of this objective. Yes, but, but crucially they are more than 24 inches away from my yes. unit so I can't fire overwatch at them. Yes. And I also uh, moved uh, with my engines here. Yes. I rolled for, for, for advance so that I am within range of this objective marker. Yes, I was considering firing overwatch at him, but uh, only two of my marines were in range. Yes, in range when you saw me. Yes, when you and started. now I move, moved in a way that. Yes, it's I hard. actually only see his servo skull. So in a <laughs> yeah. tournament setting, I would probably just shoot the hell out of him, but it's not a tournament, so. Yeah. Because you know, World Cup is. <laughs> it's not a very serious tournament. So this is your shooting, I believe. Yes. So let's start with. Uh, uh, maybe with uh, once again with destroyers. Okay, so I will once again use uh, Gene Rot Resilience okay. on my Terminators. Okay. Uh, so maybe this time let's start with Heavy Craft Cannon. Yes. I have uh, four attacks hitting on four plus. Yes. Not great. It evens out with the previous good rolls. Yes, and now with strength 6 I wound you on 3+. plus. So, uh, on so four, ups. 4 ups. Okay, you wounded me, it's AP minus... Only minus 1, but damage 2. Okay, I will argue that uh, you can't see me wholly, or at least I can allocate the models that are behind the cover. Yeah. So I'm saving it back on 2 ups. Okay. So, 2 up. I guess there was no cover uh, actually. I need to consider because it's damage too, right? Yeah. I spent my last CP to reroll it because I can at least, you know. You, you had two. Yes, but I used one on Gene Rot. Ah, yes, you are right. So I'm down to zero, I reroll it, so I'm f at full wounds. Okay, so now let's continue with Plasma Calverines. Yes. Once again, eight shots, hitting on four plus. And now, wounding. Uh, and by the way, yes, I, you overcharge. Yeah, of course. And now, three plus. So no four ups because they are tough as five now. Ah, yeah. So you wounded me twice. Yes. It's eight minus three it goes to minus two because of the cover. So I'm saving it on the four ups, which I would anyway because I have invulnerable save four up. Yeah. So that's cool. <laughs> I lost the terminator anyway. Yeah. And now let's finish shooting with my Onagar Dune Crawler. The Crawler is shooting against my Terminators who count on this barricade for protection. So maybe let's warm up with uh, Cogni's Heavy Stubber. Okay. At so, least it's not in rapid fire range. Yes, uh, but it has sustained hits. Okay. So I hit you now on a 3 plus because of my imperative. No use of it. And now with strength four, five ups. Or six ups. The yeah, five ups. Five ups. Because the gene rot resilience ah, yeah, on, oh, on, yeah. on higher. So uh, two two ups. God damn it. Well, at least I don't have any wounded terminator because that would actually sadden me. Yes, so as you have one wounded uh, terminator, I think it's... Uh, now time for uh, Chaos Array, yes. because it's damage 2. So 6 attacks, hitting once again on 3 ups. Mm, not great. Uh, it's twinning, so I can reroll wound rolls. Yes, because what's the strength? 8. So, this four time ups. 4 ups. So it will be handy. Yeah. Yeah, 2 wounds. Yes, it's AP minus, minus one. 1. So it goes to zero. Yes, but damage two. Yes, so I need to pass two on two up. <sighs> Which you do. And now the main missile launcher. One attack. Uh, it's in. 
And now with strength 10, it's free still free ups. And it's not twin yet. Maybe I should reroll. But let's give it a try. I'm down to one command point, so free up. Okay. Now the damage. Oh, the uh, damage no, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Really. So I need a free up. It's a very stressful roll. Okay, I passed it. So that's, I believe, all your shooting because your uh, engines here advanced. Yes. So. Uh, it's my and he also doesn't have a really great point of view. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually true. Yeah. So. Uh, so that was my second turn. Yes. Uh, now heading into yours. Yes. I think I have to prepare for deep strike deployment. Yes. Uh, that's also. Uh, and. And. Quite deadly return fire. Uh, Space Marines turn, turn two. two. Okay, uh, in my. Okay, also before we start movement, I need to do a battle shock test on the uh, Infernal squad. They pass it now, barely, but they do. So they are no longer battle shocked. Hooray! Okay, so uh, as my target of also moment, I chose the uh, Devastators. I also did movement, including Deep Strike of my Warlord. However, uh, when I moved my Terminators, Peter declared Overwatch. Yes, so I declared Overwatch with my Destroyers. Yes. Because I was very moved by the fact... Oh, by the way, talking about move, you need to do two hazardous tests. Ah, okay, on your... yes, I forgot about it. So, two... Oh. So, would you spend a CP then or let your <laughs> Cataphron uh, die? I would spend. Because you can actually spend a CP for yeah. Hazardous Test. Okay, I'm good. So, are you uh, overcharging again? Mm. Now you will have no rerolls. And can you use. Uh, Gene Tra Growth Might? No. <laughs> No, it's only in your opponents. Okay. Okay, I will risk. Yes. And use once again overcharge profile. Because uh, if I don't kill myself, you will do this. That's true. Uh, so. Sixes. Sixes, yes. So let's start with coverings. Oh! Ooh. Not bad. And now. Free ups. Yes. Thank goodness. I mean, honestly, three sixes on eight shots, that was... Uh, I save it on a four up. Yeah. Because, well, I have four up in all rival safe. But I have one wounded terminators, terminator that can die. So, four up. Okay. I passed it. Yes, and I also had heavy graph coming. Yes. So, once again, sixes. Nothing. Nothing. So, two hazardous mm, tests. Yeah. So, no snake eyes. Yeah. Lucky. Although, again, uh, the Overwatch really only works for Tau. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so that was my movement phase. Now I will shoot you back with the Terminator Brick. Uh, yeah, well, Peter was targeted for the also moment, so killing even one Terminator would give him higher chances of surviving. Uh, it didn't pay off, but it was close. Now I will shoot you with everything I have, starting with Librarian, as before, with uh, Overcharge Smite. So, uh, D6 shots. Okay, free. But the unit still has sustained hits. Okay, and also of moment. Okay, so I hit you three times. I wound you on a three ups because it's strength. No, on four ups. Mm, yes, because uh, my toughness is 6. Yes. Mm. They are chunky boys. So I'm only killing 4 ups. I did you one mortal wound, and one is AP minus 2. Damage 1. Uh, damage D3. That's D3. a good point. Uh, oh, okay. So D3 mortal wounds first. Okay, so it's 2 mortal wounds, and 1 uh, D3 damage, 1 damage 3. Okay. Uh, so with AP minus two, yes, I save on a five up. 
Okay. Which I do. So I lost uh, two, two wounds. Or, yes, two wounds. From mortals. Now so I will start with the, the one in the back. Okay, now I will uh, do all bolters together because my librarian also has ballistic skill 3 plus. So uh, that's. Uh, well, actually, I lost one Terminator, so that's only 8 shots. Including librarian. Uh, I think you have 3 ups. With sustained hits and rerolls. So uh, I got one sustained hit. That's one. And reroll. I got two sustained hits. It's 80 zero though, so you will have a free up safe. And I'm wounding you on five ups, I believe. Because your toughness six and I'm strength four. So that's only three wounds. AP zero. Saving on three plus. You have no rerolls, so you lost one Kataphron. Yeah. And now my favorite gun, the Assault Cannon. Okay, so I hit you three times, uh, extra hit from sustained hits, two rerolls. Okay, so it evened out. Uh, strength is... I believe it's six. Yes, so I'm only killed four ups. Six is our Mortal wounds. Nothing. I, not, I did you three wounds. AP none. So we are once again saving on three ups. <sighs> but you survived. Yeah, with one wound. Uh, okay. So now my captain will shoot four times at your tech priest. He has a regular storm bolter. So. Just rapid fire. Hitting you on two ups. Okay. Wounding you on four ups because his toughness four. Yes. Is. Okay, so I did you two wounds. AP zero. Zero. So and you have cover. No, you have three up safe anyway, so yes. against AP zero you have. So free up. Okay. Oh. I'm disassembling him piece by piece. Yeah. Uh, I believe that's all my shooting because my Infernus Marines, they advanced. So now we will go to the charge phase. Uh, okay, I have only one charge to make. And it's quite important one, because it's my captain against your tech priest. Uh, you can only use overwatch once per turn. Yes. Uh, so I... And now funny thing, because I need to be like within two inches now, or in base contact with I the barricade. Think, uh, one inch within barricade. Okay, but basically even if I need to be in base contact with the barricade, because I need to be 9 inches from you, and then I have a shorter charge range, I have to roll 8, so okay. less than 9. And you have one common point still. Well, I, re -roll. I re roll charges natively, so I don't need to ah, spend yeah, a CP. Yeah. So 8 inch charge, and I'm just perfectly yeah. in. So I'm dead. Uh, yes. So the most you can get is four victory points, yeah. or two if I wound your uh, guy. Do you have any special and tricks? Yeah, I have one, but I don't have a command point for it, because... Uh, the retribution code. Yes, if I die, I could use it to have uh, rerolls of one for the rest of the game. That's true. So... Okay, I think it's, it is what it is. <laughs> My captain has six attacks. He also has precision and lethal hits. Okay. So I think I think I know how it will go. Okay, I'm hitting you on two ups. I hit you with everything scored two lethal hits. It's AP minus two by the way, so you can already roll it because it's damage two. So if you fail any one of them and you don't have rerolls. Okay. I it's I have by the way five plus involved rebel save. Yes. So I use it instead of regular 5 plus save. You but like. Yeah. 
It was still not enough. So, because you have four wounds. Oh, you have three, three wounds. Up. Yeah. So oh. Oh. If I remember that, I would actually kill you <clears throat> sooner. So, uh, my captain is finally on the objective. But I still control this yes, one. <laughs> that's, that's what I was about to say. You still control that one with your catapron, so uh, this will be very crucial. And I don't have to do a battle shock test. That's because true. I lost only one. So there is no way I can fail it. Okay, I'm in range with this objective, okay. unfortunately. And they are no longer battle shocked. Yeah. I mean, I think I will have to do a battle shock text test each round. Mm, so. Yeah, but I'm overall gaining a lot of ground. Yeah, it was a very <laughs> bad turn for me. So moving quickly into the third battle round, I think that once again I will go with Protector Imperative. Okay. Because the biggest bonus I can get is just uh, plus one to hit with a heavy keyword for my weapons. Uh, I finally get one command point, you have two. Yes. So I think that now it's time for movement. Yes. Okay, so it was a very fast movement phase because uh, there is there was no movement. Yes. But it's worth mentioning that I got five victory points at the start of my battle round for controlling this objective. Yes, and I got five uh, in the previous turn at the end because I control now objective that was in your control at the beginning of a turn. Now also in the movement phase Peter was considering moving with the destroyers but uh, I warned him that I would obviously trigger overwatch and since I have also of moment I will reroll everything and since I have sustained hits each uh, successful hit with rerolls will score two wounds. So uh, yeah actually the librarian leading the terminators is in my opinion much much better than the captain. Yeah. Unless you want to charge something out of Deep Strike, then he gives them reroll of charges, but he's pretty decent solo. Okay, so now you will shoot me out of the board, I believe. Yeah. Because you still see, see my captain. But you know what? I want to start with Onagar Dune Crawler, and I will split shooting between your captain and uh, Infernus Squad. So I will uh, shoot your Infernus Marines uh, with my Cognis Heavy Stopper and Icarus Array. And uh, with your Captain I hope for a lucky strike with my Dedalus, Dedalus Missile Launcher. Launcher. Okay, so starting with I Icarus Array. Yes, you... Uh, I have 6 attacks. And I have plus 1 to hit for st remaining stationary. Yes, and... And I will actually use a CP, not for Gene Rot Resilience, but for Go to Ground. Okay. I spend a CP, so I have benefit of cover, even though I'm so poorly placed that I wouldn't have it otherwise. So, at least that. And you have six plus in work. Yes. <laughs> okay, so six attacks hitting on three plus. Okay, that's not decent. Bad. Too bad you don't have sustained. Uh, but at least I have Twin Linked. So now with strength 8, I two ups. Two ups. Yeah, no need for twin link. Yeah. It's how many? Five? Five. So I need to pass five free ups because it's only AP minus one, I believe. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yes, so my go to ground gave me free up safe. But it's no use. They are wiped. So, uh, I cannot shoot with my Cognis Heavy Stubber, so let's finish with Missile Launcher. So, yes. one attack hitting on 3 plus. Mm. It's in. Now, with Strength 10, I think it's still 2 oh. plus. You have one last CP, but you need to consider uh, the AP and everything. Yeah, okay. because you are, you are saving on a 4 up. Uh, what's the AP? Minus, Minus 2. Well, I will argue free up. Free up, because yeah, because of cover. I would save it for either Hazardus or rerolling their shooting. But you know what? If he remains here, uh, he will charge me. Yes. And I get no victory points for secondary. I will do 
probably mistake. Yes. And try to reroll this. So two up. So two up. Okay, it's marked for marked death. death. But I save it on a free up. Yeah. And I still have a reroll. I don't need a reroll. <laughs> okay, so now let's continue with destroyers. So this time only one plasma. Yes. Are you overcharging? Ah, and by the way, who I, who I, who I target. Ah, right. Yeah, but I think I have to go with the captain. Yes, he's a big uh, threat and he's controlling objective. Yeah. Uh, I think I have to overcharge. Because yeah. it's like double damage. That's true. So, uh, hitting control plus. Okay. And now wounding on well, free. Freeze. Uh, I was considering Gene Rot Resilience, but let's keep it for a reroll. Okay. So only one. one wound. AP minus three though. It goes to two, so I'm using my four up invulnerable save. And I fail it. And I think this is the. I will let this slide. Because Graf Cannon also has damage too, but I will be saving him it on two ups. Yeah. So maybe let's check quickly if I blow up. I yeah. don't. And now Graf Cannon. So force. That's Great. Nice. And now strength six, and you have toughness I five. So three, three ups. Three ups. Okay, that's two saves. Maybe minus one, but I'm so very well hidden. Yeah. Uh, so two ups. Yeah. Now I will use uh, SCP for a reroll. So we don't have any. Okay, uh, I passed the barely. barely, but the barricade saved me. Are you charging me? No, I don't. If you had a CP, you could try a uh, time shock. Ah, yeah. That would be hilarious. Uh, but unlikely, because he's only strength 6. Yes, strength 6. But it would be 8 dice for mortal wounds, because That's if you true. have higher strength versus toughness, but it would be nonsense. So that was my third turn. Yes. So uh, now quick thinking and I will do my... Okay, so at the beginning of my command phase I uh, decide to raise this objective. Then I decide to put Oath of Moment on the Onager Dune Crawler. And yeah, that's all my command phase abilities. I don't have to do any battle shock tests because my guys are dead. This objective is it's removed. removed. Uh, I don't get points for controlling it, only the 10 points for raising it. But my captain will cannonball to another objective to steal it from you. Yeah. To give me 5 victory points and, you know, rack up those numbers. So I will move my models and uh, be back in shooting. Okay, so I moved my Terminator simply forward. Now they are just like your engine seer 3 inches from that objective. Uh, my captain, meanwhile, moved toward the new objective to retake, and in that moment, Peter declared another Overwatch. Yes. So. Because he does not learn. <laughs> uh, so let's give it a try. You're overcharging? Of course. <laughs> maybe start with the Graf Cannon, because if you kill ah, him with yeah, that, you maybe. don't need to. Overcharge. Okay, so let's start with Graf Cannon. So hitting on sixes. There's one. And wounding on freeze. That's a wound. Now I save it on free apps actually because I left my comfort zone. I will spend my last CP to reroll it. Okay. Because well. So I you see, I put some pressure on you. Okay, I saved it. And now let's finish you off with gra uh, with plasma cavalry. Yes. So let's roll some sixes. <laughs> well. But maybe this time I will go up. I have no reroll. No. And there was actually a tactical advantage to blowing up because then <laughs> this unit will be so far away that my captain wouldn't be able to charge. It won't give me five victory points for stealing your objective. So it wouldn't be that bad. But yeah, I would charge on Hagrid yeah, and bad. steal your points. Yeah. Okay, so that was uh, my movement, your overwatch, now my shooting. And uh, the Dune Crawler is target of my also moment because my Terminator squad 
is finally able to shoot him. They are in range. You're too big to, to hide. Okay. Uh, they're all within 24 inches. I will start with Smite from my library. So, uh, once again, d6 shots. Okay, four. Hitting you on three ups. Uh, okay, oh, I will reroll because it was out of box. <laughs> so, uh, one sustained, uh, one regular. And two nothings. So, I only hit you three times. Uh, I'm wounding you your toughness. Ten. So, I'm wounding you on five ups. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I actually wounded you twice with mortal wounds. It's d3 damage. So I just did you two mortal wounds and I need to do a hazardous test. Okay, I'm fine. And now the storm bolters. They are still not in range, obviously. And so free up. Okay, I hit you some of them. Uh, five ups. I mean, three, three ups. Three yeah. ups, three rolls. Yeah, now that will be not five ups, but six ups. Okay. That's still a nice roll. I scored three wounds. Okay. AP zero. So I have plus two save. Okay. And now the ass cannon. Yeah. Uh, hitting you on three ups also. One sustain hits, two regular hits, three also of moment rerolls. Okay, so it kind of evens out. Six hits, now sixes for mortal wounds or fives for regular wounds. Okay, I just did one regular wound with AP zero. So two up. Yeah. You're fine. So uh, only my librarian scored any wounds. Uh, yeah, he's very scary with overcharged smite. Yes, the, the smite, the new version of smite, is actually kind of decent. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, well, this, <laughs> my captain, Captain Octavius, he will shoot your uh, cataphrons because the wounded one is behind, away, yeah. so uh, it won't prolong my charge. Four shots. Uh, okay, three hits, toughness six, so five ups. Nothing. Now, uh, the charge phase. I obviously charge that unit. I don't even know how far they are from me. Uh, Let me measure it for you. Less than Within nine, nine inches, so eight. Eight in charge, again, with rerolls from being super uh, unstoppable valor. So, eight. Okay. So, bumping into you. Now I need to kill... Uh, I think both of you. No, they are only objective control one, which is interesting because they used to be a troop choice. But I have little hits. So any sixes are auto wounds. I miss one. And now I'm wounding you with strength, I believe, five only. So Ooh. I'm wounding you on five ups. No wounds. So, so he was hitting me like with his stone bolter. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, I can't reroll it even, but you have one save on minus two, so five ups. Also with no rerolls. Yeah. <gasps> but I do this. Okay. And now I can strike you back. Yes. Okay, so we have uh, two close combat weapons. So four attacks in total. Hitting on four plus. Mm. And their strength five, by yeah, the way. But it's not very good roll. And now yeah, four up. No. Nope. But one wound. So I need to save it on a two up. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, after the piling, uh, the kata from destroyers are now both within three inches, but barely. So I have OC2 against your one? Yes, I could have went with the other Warlord trade, I mean Enhancement, so I would have OC2, um, but yeah, so that was my turn. I'm still happy overall, even though it was less little, uh, because, well, my captain is where he's supposed to be, yeah, another yeah, objective yeah. is controlled. Yeah, his fighting abilities were very underwhelming, because I thought he will smash my... 
I was thinking the same. Yeah. But he's only strength 5 with his yeah. Relic Blade. That is kind of underwhelming. Also, lack of CPs <laughs> is often a problem. Yeah, but he only has precision and little hits. So, uh, that was my turn. Thankfully, uh, the shock tactics will work in your turn. So, if you start the turn controlling the objective and will lose it towards the end, I will still get 5 victory points. So, yes, there will be a round 2 of shooting. Thankfully, also, Katafron Destroyers can't leave the combat and shoot. Yeah. So, he, uh, well, disabled them pretty well. So now I will give you some time to think. You still score 5 victory points for controlling. Yes, let's write it down. It's cat fur is flowing, floating everywhere. Yes, uh, and uh, I think that once again I use uh, protector imperative. Mm -hmm. Because as in the last turns I just want to have Plus one to hit. In my movement, uh, as always, I don't do much. In mm -hmm. fact, I remain stationary yes. because uh, I was wondering whether I should fall back with my destroyers. But after fall back, I cannot shoot. Yes, and I can because yes. I can fire over. Yes, you can fire Overwatch. So I think that there is no point uh, in moving them. Uh, so the only unit that can shoot is. Once again on Agar. Yes. And he will try to harm the Terminators. Yeah. So I think we can start. Uh, all of the weapons go into Terminators. So let's start with Cogni's Heavy Stubber. Three shots on the three plus. Okay. And now on fives. Nothing. Uh, so now let's continue with missile. Ah, uh, uh, no, you have one wounded. Yes. Right? Okay, so it's better to continue with a Carus array. So free ups. Not bad. And now free ups. Okay. Four wounds. Uh, four saves. Thank uh, and by the way, it's twin winged. So oh, five. Five wounds. Uh, thankfully, I have a cover. So, it's 8 minus 1. Yes. So, I need to pass all of them on 2 ups. <laughs> Obviously, I will reroll it. Okay. I kept my 1 CP for that. But I can lose the Terminator, which I don't. But I'm out of command points. And yes. you have now the most powerful weapon. Yes, so let's see. It's hit. hit. 2 ups. So, the same situation. Are, are you keeping your CP for something else? Yes, I'm keeping it because uh, even if I kill one of your guys, I don't think it will change anything. <laughs> it's possible. Okay, now in your fight phase, uh, because you didn't charge, my captain starts. Yes. So, he has six attacks, no rerolls, but little hits. I hit with everything, but no wounds so far, and I need fives. I mean, the toughness six uh, is really now mattering against many units. I wounded you once. It's 80 minus two. So, five up. Yeah. Okay, are you rerolling it now? Yes. I think it's, uh, it's a good choice. Mm. But two. it was not enough. Yes. But I still don't control that objective. Yes, but you contest it. Yes. Moving uh, into your turn. Yes. You control one objective. Mm -hmm. And it's more than me. Yes. And I have a problem with my shock tactics. Because you see, at the beginning of this turn, Peter does not control that objective. Yes. Neither do I. Ah, yeah. So I can't, you know... Uh, okay, so this is the best it. way <laughs> to prevent you scoring this point. Yes, so I will just kill you off, I guess, and move on. I, I set uh, him as a target of my also moment. Yeah. And I simply move with my Terminator, so I will be back in a very quick second. 
Okay, so that was my movement. I simply moved the Terminators a little bit. Now it's the shooting. So I'm shooting against you with everything I have, starting with Librarian. Okay, so I'm spending my last CP for a Veteran Instincts. So my Terminator unit will get rerolls of one, or if the target is monster or vehicle, rerolls of everything to wound. Okay. So I will have full uh, also of moment or seal of Wolf, if you played uh, Ultramarines in 8th edition. Uh, and yeah, with all the benefits of devastating wounds and lethal hits, I hope for a lot of damage. I will start with my Librarian, D6 shots from the Overcharged Smite, which I now can't reroll with no CP. It's a 5. So, uh, hitting you on 3 ups. Okay, so I hit you already five times and I have one reroll. <laughs> okay, so I so think this might alone might be enough. enough because it's obviously a Terminator unit. So, wounding you on fives with sure. sixes being uh, mortal wounds, but I'm rerolling everything. <laughs> okay, so. I will start with 2d3 mortal wounds because it's 5 wounds. Uh, so I'm already down to 4. Oh, you only because have 11. And I had 9 at the start. So, 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 uh, now you have 4 saves and as you said, you're, uh, thanks to the protector, I have minus 1 to my AP, so I only have AP minus 1 now. Okay, so I go down to 3 plus. Yes, and you... okay, from him you don't have cover because this barricade only gives cover to infantry. Yeah, so three plus. So, three wounds left. Uh, it's D3. Ah, of course. So, uh, do you want to reroll that safe? Uh, yeah, I think Other I weapons should, yeah. are not as So, let's reroll. Okay. okay. So, uh, now I'm using a Storm Bolter. Nothing is in rapid fire range. So once again, uh, eight shots from the Librarian and the rest of the squad. So three ups. Uh, okay, two sustained hits. Uh, five regular hits. Oops, and the reroll. Okay. So I scored uh, ten shots out of no. I scored ten hits out of eight shots, wounding you on sixes, but rerolling everything. So I already wound you four times. AP zero, so you will have two up safe. And thanks to my reroll, I scored another wound. So three wounds. F no, five. Five, so the yeah. uh, Saving count to plus? Yes. Okay, it's just one wound, but I think it's quite okay. Now I have my assault cannon. Okay, sorry guys, sorry, 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 it's the combat patrol rules, because I know the regular rules for the Terminators. In combat patrol, each time they shoot at the target of Oats of Moment, they have plus one to hit. Ah. I don't think it would make the game much different, because they are still kicking ass, but uh, yeah. So two ups to hit, so I already scored, well, everything hit, but because... Uh, <laughs> Now, uh, well, it's only... Okay, so I'm, I'm not rerolling it. I scored 9 hits from 6 shots with my Assault Cannon. And I'm wounding you on 5 ups. Okay, I scored 2 Mortal Wounds and I will reroll everything, including 5 ups. Because if I score 1 more, more Mortal Wound... I'm dead. I don't. <laughs> You have one two up safe with no rerolls, so the emotions were sky high. Sorry. Okay, you're, you're alive. <laughs> you're alive with one wound, and I can't do anything about it. Yeah. But it was quite fun. So yeah, now I can score only two victory points for my secondary. Yes, yes. And you will be battle shocked if that matters anything. Yes. But you're not controlling objective with him. 
you're controlling your objective there. And by the but way, but now it's just for fight phase, and I start. So, can I kill you with my two attacks hitting on four plus and wounding on four up? No. But can I kill you with six attacks from the best swordsman on the board? I okay, it's one little hit. Now five ups. Okay, finally three wounds. Eight minus two, so five ups. But still, oh, bigger. I evaporated. Yes. And now I can move to be closer within the objective. So I moved him here, so he will have easier time charging your dune crawler. Yes. That was my turn. Uh, so, moving on to the last battle round. Yes, because I don't get 5 victory points, because as we talked yes. before, you didn't control the objective at the beginning of the turn. And I won't control it this turn also. Yeah. So, as I said, I don't control any objective, so I don't get any victory points. I can only hope for 2 victory points from my secondary, but it will be very hard. And I will, I think, uh, of course, as always, I go with Protector Imperative. Yes. And I think I focus everything, uh, everything from my shooting into your captain, mm -hmm. because he's closer and it's... And he's idea. wounded. Yeah. And it's just too, too big you need to deal with. So let's shoot. Uh, and by the way, now that I'm damaged, I have minus one to hit, so it evens out with my heavy. Okay. So I hit you on four plus. So let's warm up with Cogni's heavy stubber. Now that you are within rapid fire range, I have six shots. Hitting now on four plus. <laughs> one hit. And five ups. Ooh, okay. There is a wound. So two up. He is fine. Okay. So now let's continue with I carve Saray. Four up. I mean, there are so many frees in those rows. Yes. And now three up. <laughs> and now when I need three, I roll two. Is it twin linked? No. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, it's twin linked. <laughs> By the way, we have one common point each. Yes. I'm keeping it for the big gun. Yeah. Uh, same as I. So now on a four plus, I roll it. It's your last shot, probably. So that was your shooting. Yeah, this whole damage, one wound left, really impaired his shooting. <laughs> his heart. By the way, you should do a ah, battle shock. line. Yeah, battle shock, yes. Uh, seven plus leadership. He failed. He failed. But uh, it doesn't affect shooting. Well. I couldn't use shooting. I couldn't use uh, reroll because yes. uh, I can't use stratagems. Yes, but uh, if he passed, he could you know charge him because he has objective control free and uh, maybe yeah. regain some uh, control from me. But so now it's my turn. Yes, which one? Fifth. Fifth. The last one. Okay. So, so what do you do? Do you control objectives or you prefer to raise them? Uh, I think you should raise. I, should, I will raise that one. that one. Because you still control one and it's more than me. Yes. So you get 20 victory points. Yes. I get 10 for the raised objective. I get 5 for controlling any and 5 extra for controlling more than Peter. Yeah. Uh, this objective is gone, so my captain can... And by the way, you, control, uh, you score it at the end of your uh, turn. But... It doesn't matter. Yes, I mean if you remain with them on yes, this objective, so you yeah, can you remove this one. My captain won't charge actually. Yeah, uh, but uh, you raise at the in the command phase still. Okay, yeah. that's true. So uh, they will remain near the objective. I will just target you again. I will again spend my last CP on the reroll everything. Bullshit. <laughs> I will. Uh, Start with oh by the way did I blow up my librarian last uh, turn? Yeah. No. So uh, he once again used overcharge uh, smite and five shots. Okay. This is the last shooting attack I think. 
uh, yes, three hits, but also of moment, obviously, because it's the last unit. So four hits, wounding you on fives, but rerolling everything. Okay, yeah, you just got two D3 mortal wounds. Okay, and after the... It's only four mortal wounds. Deadly demise. Nothing. You didn't even blew my captain in the face. Uh, I mean, I was really scared for the Space Marines. In, in the combat patrol terms, I was like, there's only 12 dudes in this, this one. You have 15 with a vehicle, with a much more powerful firepower, but also of moment. Plus Librarian is a great combo. Like, this squad, you know, when GW previewed they get their game and they lost, well, not really lost, but they were kicked in the butt by Tyranids. I thought, okay, it's maybe not so well organized combat patrol, but when you put, uh, when you start putting any combos, this uh, can be really damaging. Very tough to kill with, you know, two up, four up, five toughness, stratagems to protect me uh, and some cover and suddenly your squad is... They moved like 12 inches for the whole game and killed everything they looked yeah. at. And uh, from my perspective, <laughs> after my first uh, turn of shooting, I was like, ooh, yeah. I can so easily destroy your marines with my destroyers. Uh, but also, mm, my Skitar unit was very fragile. Yes. So Even with 4-up invulnerable, yeah. which I thought was great strategy. But uh, enough talking, we'll actually do a quick sum up uh, that will be added after this video. It should be linked somewhere here. Yes, just to sum it up, uh, you scored 45 victory points. Yes. And I got only 10. <laughs> okay, so, so I think it's not still as bad as Demons versus Grey Knights. So after game one, yes, uh, the first two matches, uh, Space Marines are leading. The group, which is so surprising, <laughs> yes. but that's only because the best combat patrols uh, met each other in the form of Tau and yes. Death Guard. Yes, and they are followed by Death Guard, Tau, and Adeptus Mechanicus in the last place. Yes. Uh, so. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this game. I was very surprised by how it uh, went. I'm very happy with the decisions I made about it. Uh, if you want to know more about our opinion. We will now do a quick talk, quick sum up, a five minute video, I think, 10 minutes tops. And uh, yeah, and subscribe to see more bot trips. And if you really enjoyed it, consider supporting us uh, in, the in the description below. below. We yeah. really appreciate it. Yeah. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.